So I've been living in the Netherlands for a while now and I thought I would make a, a quick video talking about some things I don't like about living in the Netherlands. My biggest problem with this country is the rent is insanely expensive. So I'm on Airbnb and if I want to get myself an Airbnb for the whole month in Rotterdam, look how much money I would have to spend. Around £2,000. Cheapest I could find was this one, 1652 And I guess it looks okay, but, but I still think £1,650 is quite a lot of money to be spending on rent when you compare it to Osaka. So now I'm looking at Airbnbs in Osaka for an entire month, and look how cheap it is. £700, £800, £900, £600... 500 pounds for an entire airbnb and looks quite good look at that 560 pounds a month and you get this entire place in the center of osaka which is a much bigger and better city than rotterdam i don't know why rotterdam has such expensive rent but look at this place looks fine looks great and it's only 500 pounds for a place like this here, you'd have to spend at least 2000 So as someone who doesn't make loads and loads of money, um, the very expensive rent here is a bit of a problem. Oh wow, look at this. I found an Airbnb in Osaka for £379. And look, it's right in the city next to Osaka Castle. 379 for the entire place and look at the pictures it looks pretty nice so you've got two beds a table bathroom toilet balcony and a tv for 379 pounds and here i am paying for pretty much the same thing and it's costing me 500 pounds just for five nights <laughs> so yeah if my channel completely goes down the toilet and i'm only making 500 pounds a month i guess we know where i'm headed next to live out the rest of my life. My next problem with the Netherlands living here, some shops, well not some, but a lot of shops including big chain supermarkets and big chain restaurants don't accept Visa debit cards and that's what I use. My banking accounts all use Visa, Visa debit cards. I don't have a credit card, I don't have a MasterCard, I don't have any Dutch banking accounts and if you want to go to some supermarkets like Albert, Albertine or whatever it's called, or the co-op supermarket or the spa supermarket, they don't accept Visa. And it's really annoying. I didn't know this when I first got here and I went to the supermarket. Didn't have any cash on me because I haven't been using cash in ages. Cash is just so old fashioned and stupid. I use my credit card, I mean my debit card, whenever I possibly can. And I went into the supermarket and I had everything in my arms and I put it onto the checkout counter and he was scanning and beeping them all. And I tried paying with my card and he said, we don't take Visa. So I had to leave. I couldn't take any of my shopping with me. And it was so embarrassing. And it wasn't just that shop, it was several other shops I went into as well they don't take Visa. So now, every time I go shopping, before I buy anything or before I pick up anything, even when I go into restaurants now, I always have to ask, do you take Visa? Just to check and make sure. And a restaurant would be very embarrassing. Imagine I went to a restaurant and then we finished eating and then we have to pay the bill and then I don't have any cash and they don't take Visa. What am I supposed to do? I don't understand how they don't accept Visa cards when I was in Japan, every single shop that I used my card to pay with took Visa. Nearly every shop in Germany took Visa. Visa is an internationally recognized card. I don't understand why some shops and restaurants and supermarkets here in the Netherlands don't accept it. It is really dumb. It doesn't make any sense to me. And obviously I don't have a Dutch bank account and I don't feel like opening up a MasterCard account just so I can buy things here. It's a bit inconvenient. It means that I have to go to cash machines, ATMs, and withdraw cash if I want to shop at certain supermarkets. My next problem is I am in the city central. 
the centre of Rotterdam, and it's just kind of lifeless. I mean, look at this road out there. I can see, I can see two people. Well, there's a third person. I'll go outside and I can give you a better view of what I'm talking about. And look, my balcony is all wet because it was raining. Check if there's people there. No people. Now my foot's going to get wet. Ugh. So look down there at the shopping area. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? The shopping area, main shopping area. Hardly any people. And it just makes it feel like you're living in a bit of a ghost town. There's just... There's no liveliness to the city compared to a place like Japan where there's always music and there's neon signs and there's loads of people shopping at any time of the day, any day of the week. Even if it was raining in Japan, there'd be tons of people having a good time, shopping, hanging out. But here in the Netherlands, in Rotterdam, I don't know, the streets just look kind of sad and lonely. The next thing I don't like about it here is there's too many lanes of traffic. So usually when you're crossing the road, you just have to look out for cars in most countries. You just have a road and maybe a footpath. But here in the Netherlands, you've got the road with cars. And then you've got the bicycle lane, which motorbikes also ride in, which is kind of stupid. The bicycle lane is supposed to be for slow moving bicycles. But for some reason, people on motorbikes and mopeds also ride in the bicycle lane, even though they're going almost as far as a, almost as fast as a car. And then thirdly, you've got the tram line. So in the Netherlands, as in the same way as Germany, they also use trams. And trams are kind of weird for me as an English person, because in England, we don't have trams. We just have buses. I kind of don't see the point of having a tram. They're basically the same as a bus. They're kind of like a weird combination of a bus and a train. It's like a train and a bus had a baby and then it was called a tram. But to me, trams just seem kind of, kind of redundant if you have buses because they serve the same purpose, but then they also take up an entire lane on the road with the rail tracks. So when you're crossing the road, you have to check if there's any cars. And then you have to check if there's any bicycles or mopeds or motorbikes when you're crossing the bike lane. And then you also have to check the train tracks, the tram tracks, to make sure there's no tram coming your way. It just makes crossing the road a little bit stressful because there's so many different types of transport here in Rotterdam that you can't just check for cars. You've got to check for everything and you've got to keep watching your back. Sometimes I daydream and I drift off and I find myself accidentally walking in the bike lane and then some angry person behind me starts ringing their stupid bicycle bell at me. So those were my main complaints about living here so far. I know they seem kind of petty and nitpicky and that's mainly because in general it's a pretty good place to live in. I don't really have any bigger complaints. All of the complaints I had when I was living in Japan, I can't really say the same about this place. My main complaints in Japan was where it was too noisy, you'd have screaming sales assistants outside of shops shouting all the time, and the bacon wasn't good, and the Western imitations of food was just terrible. But here in the Netherlands, the food is great. I have all of my favorite types of meats here in the supermarkets. Don't have any complaints about the sausages or the bacon or the bread. So I'm really satisfied with the food. I can't really complain about the food. And it's very quiet outside. If you can listen, I'll open the balcony again to show you how quiet it is. See what I mean? For a city centre that is shockingly quiet for a city centre and that's a good thing, I don't like noise. Look, it's a helicopter. 
Well, that's all I had to say. Um, I have to pack my things because I'm leaving this apartment to um, go to a new place, which will be a secret. So, so I can't, can't show you or tell you about where I'm going next. But after that place, I will be finding a new place and I'll do a, an apartment tour, show you what it's like, blah, blah, blah. This place is nice, but it's just a little bit too expensive for me. And if I wanted to stay here for a whole month, it would cost me three, three thousand pounds. And for me, three thousand pounds a month just for rent is a little bit out of my budget. So I have to pack my stuff and um, get ready because I'm leaving tomorrow. Look at that beautiful pork. It's basically really thick slices of bacon, isn't it? Oh, I love the fat, the whiteness of it next to the pinkness of the meat. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take two pieces out. Sprinkle some shawarma powder. This stuff is great, really flavorful. And then I think I want some salt as well. Maybe some pepper. Are people always complaining that I don't season my food. I always season it. Oh wow, it's heating up really quickly. Sizzling. Oh, it's burning! Oh no! Why is it burning? Ah! How do I turn down the heat? There you go. Oh no! <laughs> it's ruined. How the Oh, it's only in there for 10 seconds. Do you like it crispy? It's a little bit black, but that's okay. Let the smoke go up into the extractor pan. Oh, this is so heavy. Put it down. Oh. It's fine, it'll give a nice smoky flavor. And then I'll microwave my rice. For one minute. Stop. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Shh. 
Shut up. Stand her. She's so negative. She just moans and whines all the time. And nags me. Complains because I don't know how to do DIY or gardening. And she just makes me feel like I'm useless and I've got no value as a person. She's not a nice person to be around. Oh, a beer would be so nice right now. I did not plan this meal very well. A beer and some kimchi.